Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your May 2016 tarot reading. Uh, one of the first messages that I'm getting for you is that I feel there is somebody in your life who is posing a little bit of a burden for you because they are really unclear about what it is that they want. It feels like they're lacking a sense of direction. They can't really make up their mind and um, they're kind of like um, at an impasse. They're, they're I don't feel they're indecisive. It's just they're staying they're they're staying stuck in certain things for all the wrong reasons. And I do feel you want to be careful about letting this relationship, if it's a relationship, whatever association you have, putting your foot down and try to draw boundaries to protect yourself because I feel like they are draining you on an energetic level. Investing too much of your time, too much of your energy into this situation, I feel like it's not going anywhere. It's a major, major obstacle into um, you living living your life and finding new uh, sense of abundance for yourself. Okay, This card has come out for like, I think, four signs. So try to keep that in mind. Um, I do feel for a lot of you, it might be like a male figure that is caught, someone who's just like very confused about what they want to do. They don't really, um, I feel like they're spiritually depleted or they are needing spiritual guidance. They're needing some type of spiritual guidance or um, a sense of direction. I don't feel it's like physical direction. It's just they don't know how to move forward. They need some type of guidance. And um, they're, they're not... It's a, a crisis of faith, I feel. And this is somebody who's just who operates on a very uh, physical level. They only trust what they can touch. They don't really trust like um, high, the higher order is what I'm, I'm sensing. So if you're dealing with that, if that resonates with you, the universe is basically urging you to make up your mind as to whether or not you can leave this situation alone and move about and go on with your own life and go on your own way. Because this is something that you've been dealing with for quite some time. You're not getting the outcome that you're hoping for. This person is, I feel deception with this person. And they're leading you on down to a path. And then they're going to like drop you off. So you want to just, you know, move on with your life. And leave the situation alone. There is no good that can be had from it, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling is if you're looking for people who are a little bit more decisive, who are a little bit more deliberate about what they want, you are going to get that. But you have to sever some ties here. You need to close some doors before new doors can open up for you, okay? So let's go over your reading, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's talk about just, um, this is going to be family and relationships. We have the Four of Wands as well as the World card. The Four of Wands basically indicates um, a marriage situation. This is a situation like a house unit, uh, people we are living with, as well as people that we are married to or engaged to. So this deals more with like matrimony or intentions of matrimony. What I'm feeling for a lot of you is... For those of you who are in a um, committed relationship, and I feel that the relationship is really restrictive for you, I feel that your relationship partner might be more of a um, energy leech for you, where they are kind of there. I, I feel like they're very, very passive, and they don't really know what they want. They're just kind of um, existing. And I, I feel like horrible saying that word, but the message came in so strongly. So I feel like the relationship, the significant relationship, this is marriage, this is family. Whoever it is that you're involved with, I do feel like you're sensing almost as if your freedom of movement, your blessings are being greatly blocked by this relationship. If that sounds at all familiar to you, you want to either A, change your living environment, or B, you want to figure out what it is that you want out of a relationship partner 
so that you can extract yourself from this situation. Obviously, it seems to me like it's the people you're living with and the people that you are married to, engaged to. If you're not feeling it anymore, if you're like not sure about what, what you should do, um, follow your gut, okay? Follow your gut instincts. I would advise you to wait until the last week of this month to make major life decisions, mainly because of the Mercury retrograde energy. When Mercury retrograde comes in, it is a really powerful time that the universe is bringing into our lives so that we can re-examine some of the things that have been problematic. So a lot of problems from the past, if they have been swept under the rug, if they have not been dealt with or addressed adequately, they are going to come in and they're there for re-examination. So I want you to keep that in mind. I've been sensing that Sagittarius, you know, you, you're dealing with a Saturn return. So inevitably, uh, major long-standing relationships are up for a re-examination. And I do feel that the process itself is not always smooth, but you really want to figure out what you need in a relationship partner in order to be um, happy, okay? Uh, what I'm also feeling as well is there is going to be some type of a social function it's coming in so quickly in the beginning of the spread. So I feel like there is going to be some social function that is really good for you, especially the first half of the month. Um, you need to attend it. Whatever invitation is coming your way, you're, you're going to need to be there, okay? So I feel like something very serendipitous, something that is very faded for you that will open up the next phase of your life is coming into the picture. This could be encountering a really strong person that will be um, somewhat like, um, there. There's. it seems to me almost like a central figure in the next phase in your life, okay? Both of these cards are very, very positive. So I do feel that, first of all, significant relationships need to be brought up for examination. Secondly, there is some type of a social celebration, a, um, a major major celebration coming through you're invited to it if you're invited to it go to it something faded is happening at this event okay so make the time for it and don't decline any invitation for the especially the first half of may um, in terms of your financial situation and also linked up with your family life a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign and the earth sign is taurus virgo capricorn so the earth sign, if you're, regardless of whether or not they are male or female, let's talk first. If this is an earth sign that you are in a family relationship with, so for example, you know, it could be your daughter, your son, your whoever it is that it, you consider family, you can be physically living with them or they could be living far away, but they're, you're bound together by blood, okay? I feel there might be some financial assistance coming through from this person or um, you might ask them for financial assistance, they might ask you for financial assistance, they might ask you to help them take care of a property, a house. There's something like that coming through from an earth sign, okay? Um, additionally, what I'm sensing as well is there is another relationship in your life that I feel you have to fix. And this, per I'm sorry, Sagittarius, this pertains to an earth sign. And I, I want you to know that, you know, because it's basically the page of pentacles. Uh, pages are very, very young energy. So I feel like for those of you who are um, older with children, um, there might have been some discord with an earth sign. And you, you want to be able to fix that situation, okay? And I do feel, you know, sometimes that... Um, a lot of the times we we can't help who ends up being our family members, right? And we not, might not jive well with their energy, but it's in our, our best interest to try to fix family relationships, mainly because those are the most karmic, all right? Um, I do feel when it comes to tradition, when it comes to things that you've been doing over and over and over and over again, and you're expecting different results as well, um, it's an important month for you to try to clear the air or at least try to find a creative new way to do something. For a lot of you, you might be self-employed, you might be working at home, you might have your stock, your inventory in the home environment. And I do feel as well that um, 
is bringing you a lot of financial abundance. So your financial situation this month looks to me to be very good. You might have children. You might have people that are bringing you money. So you don't have to worry about your, your finances. You have family members that are helping you. But I don't feel like they're just lending you money. I feel that they're giving it to you. So whatever... Um, money that you're getting in you don't have to pay back okay and especially if it's coming in from family members so you have a lot of financial support coming in from family members the other thing I'm sensing is for a lot of you you might not have felt emotionally supported by family members um, I just want you to know that people express their love and their affection in different ways so you're not overlooked they are thinking about you it's just they express themselves you know they they care about your immediate needs which are are you okay financially do you need help what can I get for you or what can I buy for you so that you're not struggling so these are basically things that they care about and they might express themselves through the material channels okay um, if you're dealing with an earth sign and if you're romantically linked with an earth sign there is family, which is possibly a marriage situation that's blocking their progress. So you're not going to make any strides with them. And um, there might be some issues about, you know, if you're trying to take the relationship to the next level, I also feel like this person is not ready to commit. They're not ready to commit. So even if they don't, you know, if they haven't been married in the past, but because they're showing up as a page energy, they might not be wanting the same things out of the relationship. And this is the month in which you have to really address this. Additionally, if you're living with an earth sign, you want to make sure the relationship is a little bit more balanced. I feel like one person is kind of like the breadwinner and the other person is pretty much coasting. Not that they're doing it deliberately, but it's just easier for them to coast. And they're, they might, you know, just take you for granted. So you have some ironing out of your living situation, your family unit. That needs to happen for this month, uh, Sagittarius. Now, in terms of your emotional health, we have another Earth sign and the Nine of Swords. You have an offer. I feel like this can be a uh, love offer coming through from the earth sign, okay? And it's bringing you a lot of distress. You might be romantically linked up with this person. You might have, you know, feelings for them. And I do feel that for some reason there were a lot of words that were exchanged in the past between you and this person. I feel that you're trying your best to sever ties with this person. I feel that you you resorted to saying very hurtful, harsh words to drive them away. Okay. I'm also sensing that you are regretful. So this is not going to apply to everyone, but I feel like I feel like you might have not operated at your very best in the past when you're dealing with this earth sign. It could be like a love partner. It could be a relationship partner or, you know, um, family members, excuse me. So love or family. If it's a family member, I feel like Sagittarius, you might have been a little bit harsh with your words in the past and you might have driven this person away. And as a result of it, they're also keeping their distance from you. They might be there to help you financially, like I mentioned earlier. They might be there for financial assistance. They might be there to help you with technical stuff. But there is a very, very big gap when it comes to them investing themselves emotionally with you. So I feel like if this is something that might have happened in the past, you need to suck it up and, you know, apologize. I, I feel that you need to apologize for this situation, okay? Additionally, um, I'm feeling that for those of you who are kind of um, involved with an earth sign romantically, this person has been bringing you a lot of stress and has also been, you're trying to turn your back from this person, but they keep coming back into your life. They keep communicating with you and you don't really know what to do. You're kind of like at your wits end and the, the interaction between the two of you have been very, very problematic in the past. I feel that they're very, very slow to act. So the Knight of Pentacles, which is the Prince of Pentacles in this deck, it's the slowest moving knight in the deck. And you're a fire sign. You want results. You want action. You want actions to match up with promises. You want words to match up with actions. You want immediate results. And this is a very slow moving sign, okay? It could be just, you know, sheer 
sheer incompatibility. Um, this time they're coming back in, I feel that they're, they have something solid to offer you. So whatever it is, if it's somebody in the past that you're dealing with, um, I don't feel that you should go back to it. But either way, the person is causing you a lot of distress. So, you know, you want to think this through before you take up on this offer. But that's what I'm feeling for you. Um, in terms of, yeah, so this is basically more of a spiritual advice. Don't go back to the past. You need to sever some ties here, okay? So the Queen of Wands, uh, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords is an air sign. And we do have the Prince of Wands here. So I'm going to read them as energy first before I transmute them to like people. So the first thing here is you have to make sure somebody is accountable for their actions. You have to ask those really important questions and not let people uh, sweep you off your feet without an explanation. It's time for explanation and you have to demand that out of your partner, okay? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, if they're giving you the runaround, if they're like indecisive, if they're confused and they're not sure what they want to do, you need to hold them accountable. You need to like basically give ultimatums, put your foot down, draw the line in the sand and make up your mind about what you want to do independent of the other person. So I feel what has been happening is you're kind of like... Um, you're going along with whatever the other person wants and you're not planning things out for yourself. So it's sort of like, okay, um, we'll go here while you're here. And then the next step you decide, I'll follow you. So you're not taking initiative here. And it's telling you that, you know, this situation where it's very one-sided, it needs to come to an end. The other person is not making a decision. So you are the one that has to make the decision and you're the one that basically has to sever some ties here because they're kind of, um, they're just hanging on because it's convenient, honestly. So you want to sever ties and you want to make demands and you want to, you know, give ultimatums, basically. Um, I feel that you're at a crossroad and you're, you don't know what you need to do but I also feel like if someone is causing a lot of discord and stress and emotional anguish in your life there is no need to keep yourself in that relationship okay it just doesn't make sense to me so sever some ties and move on with your life the other card that I'm sensing as well is we have the prince of wands and this is your energy here, Sagittarius. So now I'm going to read them as people. You have an air sign that is coming into your life that's going to be above and beyond everything that you've wanted, okay? The air sign might be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like it might be a Libra. I feel like it might be a Libra. Um, but air sign nonetheless and I feel that this is the better person so you, a lot of you might be transitioning from an earth sign to an air sign and you're doing it very ec ecstatically um, I do feel that this is a better fit for you earth and air is a better combination but also this is somebody who's very no nonsense so if you've been through the ringer with some previous relationship where they can't really make up their mind they're just fuzzy and cloudy with their thinking and they don't really have a sense of direction this is the energy that you want moving forward because he or she is very, very deci uh, decisive. They're also very, very um, meticulous about not only making plans, not only conjuring up plans, but like executing them. So you are going to get, you know, that energy where you want results. You want people to like um, say things, but also follow them up with action. So you are going to get that really good relationship partner, all right? Um, overall, it's basically telling me here, you need to block out, close some doors on the past. So both of these cards appearing together, I feel like you're really quick to jump the gun when someone gives you an offer. And this is somebody from the past. And it's telling you, you have to like, it's like over my dead body. Don't do this again. Don't put yourself in position where you're engaging with the same people and expecting different results, okay? You need to move on to something new. We have an air sign in the works for you. I feel that the universe is letting them cross your paths so that you can wean yourself from somebody, some other relationship that might not have been good for you. So this is what it looks like to me. You're in danger of 
getting yourself back in this emotional turmoil. So don't do it, okay? The thing about the Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands is that um, he moves without thinking. So you want to just calm it down and be methodical, be objective, be strategic, and don't fall for the same things over and over and over again. Okay, Sagittarius? Um, now, in terms of your advice, we have new beginnings here. Close some doors so that new doors can open for you. This is a card about contact. This is a card about some type of a reunion as well. So, for example, if you have that reunion, if, if you're like invited to some type of party, I feel that you're going to meet somebody there. It might be somebody that you've encountered in the past, not somebody you've dated. Please don't go back to exes. I never advise it, mainly because when it comes to people that we are romantically involved with, they were in our lives for a reason. And um, once that reason has been fulfilled, it brought to uh, an inevitable end of that relationship. You've learned your lesson or you've learned whatever it was that you needed to learn. So move on. But I feel like there is some type of a reunion happening, possibly with family members that are coming through. Um, there's a reunion nonetheless, and it's basically telling you this is going to be very good for you because um, it's going to bring about new beginnings, all right? You are also put in a situation, if you have been wronged in the past, I feel some type of a divine karmic justice is going to be served in your favor. If you have lingering court documents and things like that, don't worry. You are going to get everything resolved. Um, we have the Five of Swords, which is once again a conflict card. But it's also indicating to me more so if you've been dealing with some court issues that has been very, very problematic. It was ongoing. It was dragged on for quite some time. It is going to get resolved this month and it is going to be in your favor. So don't worry so much, okay? Sagittarius, um, I can't really say anything else because the main thing is you need to move on. You you have to move on. And um, if it's a family relationship, if you're dealing with some family situation um, with an earth sign that is a family member, especially like a child or a family member, you have to repair that relationship. If it's a love partnership, if you're married to them, you have to figure out how to make it work harmoniously or so basically fix it or leave it. I don't feel a lot of you are happy if you're involved with an earth sign in a marriage capacity. I don't feel that you're happy. Fix it or leave it. Get couples counseling if you need to. If you are romantically involved with an earth sign, once again, if it has cost you this over the years, don't go back to it, okay? So you have new people coming through. You have new beginnings coming through. But you keep opening the doors to the past and it's not working out, okay? Financially, things are really good. And I mentioned, like, I believe for the mid-month, your financial situation is going to be phenomenal. The universe is taking care of your financial life for you so that you can focus your energy, fixing all the other things to make your life whole and to make it complete, all right? So you have some very, very strong divine protection, some strong guidance. Just don't go back to anything from the past. It's just not going to work out, okay? So let's go into your love reading now, Sagittarius. See what's in store for Sagittarius for May 2016. So Sagittarius, May 2016. Okay, they keep refusing to shuffle. So give me a moment. Bear with me. Come on. Okay. So, what's in store for Sagittarius for Love and Romance, May 2016? You're going to be feeling really good this month, Sagittarius. We have the Sun, the Two of Wands, the Five of Wands, 
Okay, Nine of Swords came out again. So um, that Earth sign was probably in your romance sector in the tower. I'm going to pull out some additional cards because I don't like to leave the tower unattended. Okay, so I know there are a lot of cards here, but I feel like it's necessary because um, I feel like you're, you're doing the same things over and over and over again. So I'm trying to give, you know, some guidance so that you can move forward and not be afraid. Because a lot of the times when it comes to relationships, people stay in unhealthy relationships and they're just like, if only I meet the right person. Person, I would leave my you know unhealthy relationship right now well that's not how life works we need a period of healing mourning the previous relationship before we can start something new so a lot of people you know in general are people are very afraid of being on their own and we're social creatures so it's totally understandable but why would you put yourself in an unhealthy situation just because of fear of you know not finding somebody better or finding the right person but whatever the situation is I feel like there's some there are things that you need to do and you're you're kind of um, I feel the majority of you have implemented the change and are moving forward and that's why we had the judgment card earlier but I do sense a lot of you are still kind of pining for something from the past so let's talk about this situation in the middle of the spread we have the Sun card and this is one of the most positive cards in the deck and I don't read reversals but the Sun in the reverse is still a very good card this indicates like success abundance self-esteem boost and putting ourselves in situations where we are basically in the limelight in the spotlight and it's a card about total abandonment, okay? So wanting to start over, having a lot of success, and getting a lot of positive attention as well, okay? So in the love environment, for those of you who are newly single, you are in a very, very good position here to attract what it is that you want to come into your life, okay? Um, there are definitely people that are fighting for your attention. They're kind of like tripping over one another to talk to you, to vie for your attention, and to like be in your midst. I feel for, um, so for those who are dating, there might be another fire sign that you're dating. Um, another Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Leo is greatly indicated because of the sun. A lot of you as well, I feel that who whoever it is that you're dating right now, or you're going through the dating process, you know, I feel like you have a lot of candidates. You have you're in a position where other people are pursuing you, okay? Another narrative that I'm getting is you are in a position where a lot of people are pursuing you, but you're thinking about somebody from your past. And the people that are coming in to pursue you, they don't entirely meet all the checklist. They they don't check off all the, you know, the boxes in your requirements of what you want in a relationship partner give them an opportunity and don't rule them out too fast for others of you who are still pining over past loves and things like that um, I understand why you're pining because we do have you know situations from your past where you thought it was the one where you thought it was the soulmate um, the relationship brought in a lot of worries and a lot of strife and I feel like you were the one always left empty and waiting and just, you know, you, you were the one that was left hanging. So my advice here is you have a lot of people coming in for you. You're still looking back at the past. You want something, you felt like that past relationship was your soulmate. Well, we have a lot of soulmates. And when we have the Two of Cups, it basically means a balanced relationship and if it's a balanced relationship you shouldn't be feeling like this right like you shouldn't be dealing with emotional anguish you shouldn't be the one that's like empty like left empty and hanging all the time so if it's really truly a soulmate connection then you shouldn't feel this way right so I'm lead uh, I'm led to in to believe that it was a false soulmate connection and you're hanging on to it for other reasons and you're not seeing the reality of the situation so if this at all sounds familiar please let it go 
just let that relationship go your focus is on the past when you have like a lot of abundance in your future and a lot of people that are vying for your attention okay so Sagittarius let it go let it go all right um, if you are dealing with a an air sign specifically and I mentioned the air sign because of the nine of swords air signs Aquarius Gemini and Libra if you're dealing with an air sign, I honestly believe the air sign might be the soulmate connection. Um, I do feel there are they are still dealing with some residual issues from their past. Like, you know, they might have broken up with a significant other. They might have been like, um, I feel like their life right now, they could very well be a romantic partner. If this is somebody that you have never dated before, they could very well come into the picture as a, um, you know, as a potential love interest. But what I feel is they're not ready to date just yet. They're dealing with their own inner demons, like past relationships. Um, they're trying to extract themselves so that they can be truly single before they re-engage in the dating scene. So if you're dealing with that and they're blowing hot and cold, that might be why. I don't feel it has anything to do with you. I feel like it's just, you know, they're trying to grapple with their own demons. They're trying to get their life in order, all right? So don't take it personally. Um, it has the potential to be good, but I feel like they might, there's like mild depression I'm sensing um, coming through from a an air sign. Um, I do sense they are looking for a relationship, but they have some stuff they need to sort out first. So now in terms of your foundation, we do have the tower here. And the tower is basically uh, something that was built on faulty foundation. And it's coming crumble. It's, cr excuse me, it's crumbling down. And there's nothing that you can do to prevent this situation from happening. The advice here is I, I do sense a lot of you have walked away from a situation because you were not happy anymore. The situation was very, very restrictive. It was very one-sided. It felt like, I like, it felt very stifling. You were dealing with somebody who was a control freak. You were dealing with someone who was very, possibly um, very, like, uh, manipulative. They're not covertly manipulative like the King of Cups in the reverse. This is a person that's like my way or the highway, but they do it in a very scary way. They they were like, um, they abused their control in the relationship, okay? And I do feel that you were afraid to leave. And they were very controlling because I'm getting the four of pentacles here. A lot of you might be dealing with a an earth sign, somebody very controlling. Someone who was like, um, you know, like they... They, they had their way with you and then as soon as like you tell them, oh, let's break up because I'm not happy anymore and you start seeing other people, then they start re-emerging in your life because they don't want you to move on with other people and be happy. So you're dealing with somebody who's very manipulative, controlling and manipulative. And this situation was not going anywhere and I feel like a lot of you are realizing that now and you're moving away from that. Good for you, Sagittarius. Good for you. And I can't really tell if this is for singles or couples, but I feel like the energy is fluid across singles and couple either end of the spectrum. You were dealing with someone who was just like, you know, very authoritarian, um, just quite selfish, quite selfish. That foundation is crumbling. So I don't feel that it's going to be rebuilt. And especially um, you're not interested in rebuilding it because the, the, two, the, the person that's left that's left over is just, you know, it's, it's just them. They want to rebuild things with you, but it, it's not sincere and you're not going to rebuild it because you're starting to realize, you know, this, this sense of awakening, this epiphany has emerged where you're just like, wow, that relationship was really restrictive. It blocked my blessing and it restricted me in every way. You couldn't move on with your life with this in the picture, with this occupying your thoughts in your mind. You couldn't move on. So I feel like I mentioned for the mid-month reading last month, there is a new love situation coming through for you. So I feel like that was probably the catalyst to let you see what a healthy relationship looks like so that you can move away from whatever was unhealthy. So in contrast, you're able to see, okay, this is what I want. 
and these are the things that I don't want. So at least you have some clarity about what to do. But I feel like a lot of you have come to the clarity, but you're not physically ready just yet to take the next step. And it's okay because Saturn will be in your sign for the next, I believe, two years. So you still have, you know, time to 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 basically um, resolve the situation. But the the thing here is that I, it's built on faulty foundation. I don't really see the point in trying to fix this. It's it has served its purpose in your life. I feel it has dragged on past its expiration date. It is blocking a lot of blessings in your life. Okay, you're in a good state of mind right now. You have a lot of contenders, so try to move forward. I do feel for couples, um, for couples, um, people who are in coupled relationships. If you're dealing with an air sign, the relationship it's going to go through some, you know, a little bit of upheaval. Not seeing eye to eye. Uh, possibly one person I, I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign um, Aquarius Gemini Libra I feel like one person is waiting for the other person to follow through with their promises or with their words and this is with coupled or like married people married couples or seriously dating people or people who are seriously dating um, I feel like somebody's waiting. It's like upset that someone is not carrying through on their promises. But I don't feel, you know, it's, it's a cause for breakup. But I do feel you need to talk about it. Because underlying all of it is uh, the love card, the mutual respect, the reciprocity, and the egalitarian relationship. But I do sense like um, there might be an argument where somebody's like they promise something and then the other person doesn't deliver. So just, you know, keep that in mind and don't blow things out of proportion and try to be the first person to re-engage the other person in um, reconciliation because, you know, this is something that I've heard and it's just at the end of our lives, these little, you know, uh, fickle moments of emotional rage or whatever it is, it's, it's a very relatively like a very small snippet of um, our time here on earth so don't waste your time dwelling on these um, miscommunications or instances where we feel like disappointed or we feel like um, that resentment for another person just try to repair situations okay because I feel like if you're with an air sign there's a very strong camaraderie there's a very strong emotional connection soul connection with that person so don't um, create stir up trouble in the relationship or at least try to be the one to reach out first okay so try to be the one to reach out first. Uh, what I'm also sensing as well is I do feel for a lot of you, unfortunately, um, there might be some falling outs and, you know, end of relationship, but you have already known this. I feel that um, some relationship has to end so that you can move on with your life, okay? I'm not going to dwell on this too much, um, Sagittarius, because I do feel that you know which side, which story would apply to you. So this is not a cause for, you know, concern, bringing up things that you already know deep down innately is um, are things that you have to work on. So I feel like re wherever you fall on this spectrum, I do hope the reading has been helpful, but wherever you fall on the spectrum, we always know, all right? Um, f mend the relationships with your families. Mend them especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. Reconcile and mend only if you're dealing with an earth sign that is a family member. Um, if you're romantically linked up with an earth sign, I feel like you have to let that relationship go. You have to let it go. It has dragged on way past its expiration date, okay? I wish you all the best. I know it's a little bit of a heavy reading, and I'm very sorry. Um, I do wish you all the best nonetheless, and if you'd like a private reading, please um, visit my website. The description, um, the website is in the description box below, and you can view my availability and schedule an appointment on the website, all right? If you have other questions, just email me at temperatestar at gmail.com, and I wish you all the very best. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.